It's that time again. It's time to film all of my Mad Snack Monday videos. So welcome to Between the Snacks where I take y'all along for the ride. I'm currently at the grocery store because I do have a list of things that I need to get, but I chose all five of my snacks. I chose three, well, two technically that were asked for by you guys on Instagram. I chose one from Brie, my girl Brie, because I was just in Wisconsin at Mel and Brie's event, and Brie had a weird snack that she wanted me to try, so I've got that one on the list. And then I also have two that I was tagged in videos, and I literally, I, I can't not get them. I must. So we're going to make a kind of a variety of things this go around, and I do need like a handful of things, nothing crazy, but yeah, let's get these snacks on the road. showered got ready so i look a little presentable for these videos and we are about to roll into snack number one which is fruit roll-ups oh my god i'm so excited about this fruit roll-ups doesn't really matter well you're probably gonna want the sheet ones if you do this that's what i got because that's what they did in the video um and they took these hang on we gotta get in the fridge for this one they wrapped them around grapes and then put them in the freezer and I'm going to take it a step further. I think this is my favorite part of Mad Snack Monday is getting to like add my own flair to things. So I think I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to put chamoy on it. How could that be bad? A little frozen fruit roll up situation. I'm so excited. Let me, I'll see you once they're made and they're in the freezer. I have them all wrapped up in fruit roll ups. 10 out of 10 recommend if you give this a try, use a pizza cutter to cut the fruit roll up. I was trying to just like rip it to start with and it's too sticky, it doesn't work. So we've got these prepared. So I'm gonna put them in the freezer and then we're gonna actually move on to another snack while we wait for these to freeze. I like to try to work smarter, not harder on Mad Snack Monday preparing video days. That was a lot of words in one sentence. Anyways, you get it. Um, so that I can try to get as many done as quickly as I can. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next snack while those freeze, which is going to be a blended situation. So we're gonna film this one in the kitchen. It's cottage cheese blended with peanut butter and honey, which I think is gonna be so good. And then she just said that you dip rice cakes into it. So I got apple cinnamon ones because I thought that would be a good move. So let's get into it. I got cottage cheese, we got peanut butter, and I got honey, and I think this is gonna be fire. It honestly has tons of potential. Like, you could make a savory version of it, I thought. I'm always quite inspired by you guys' snacks, because you guys just do like the craziest shit with them. I'm always very impressed. I'm not nearly as creative with my food as you guys are. I think that's actually one of the reasons I love Mad Snack Monday the most, is because you guys just like have this like creative edge with your food that I'm like honestly kind of jealous of. Like you guys just, I don't know, you guys, you guys experiment with your food a lot more than I do and I love getting to try out your guys' concoctions. I'm trying to get the honey and it's all the way in the back of the cupboard, I think. Oh, there we go. Got her. All right, let's make this blended situation and uh, I'll see you when it's done. I've got my bandina of authority on. This like sweet small business reached out and asked if they could send me these stunning headbands and I was like, yeah, oh my God, yeah. And so they sent me a couple of these and these are so beautiful. And so these are my new bandanas of authority. Meet the, new, meet the first one, she's stunning, she's beauty, she's grace. Um, so I tried the dip. I'm silly and I literally like inhaled the whole little serving I made of it, whoops, before I could show you guys, but this is what it looks like on the blender. It's so yummy, it's giving like, almost like ricotta cheese in like a sweet kind of way with the peanut butter and the honey. Oh my God, like, wow. I am going to be making that a lot more often. So far, we are off to a good start with Mad Snack Monday. That one was a healthy little delightful protein filled treat and I, I'm gonna add it into my repertoire from here on out. Um, okay, next up, we're doing hot Cheetos and whipped cream. Yeah, 
I never thought we'd be here, but somehow we are. I thought this was gonna be disgusting. I was in fact wrong. This is so good. If you've ever had cream cheese and hot Cheetos, I feel like, <clears throat> I just like inhaled one. This is giving the sweet savory version of that. In all the best ways. I'm always so thoroughly impressed with people's weird snack discoveries. Like, I don't know how this happened. I don't know if somebody was higher than a kite or if they ran out of cream cheese and they were like, why not fuck around with whipped cream and find out? I don't know. But I am in full support because this is this is a 50 out of 10. I will be eating my hot Cheetos with whipped cream from now on. I don't, like, wow. Mondays are crazy, man. I just, like, all the weird snacks, things I never thought would be good, somehow being good. It just never ceases to amaze me. And I love it. I love it here. I have the best job on the internet. I really do. Okay. I have to stop eating these, but I can't. They're so good. Oh, my God. Okay, next up is gonna be a fun one. I think I'm gonna do, well, there's one that involves a Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> I have the hiccups, that was cute. Um, I think I'm gonna do that one first. Somebody said that if you put Samoas and pair them with Gouda cheese, yeah, that somehow it's delicious. I find that very hard to believe, but I am intrigued, and if it involves a Girl Scout cookie, I feel like it's gotta be a good time. So, I guess we're, we're doing this. I'm sad to report, I already put them away, my bad. Um, but I'm sad to report that the Gouda cheese and the Samoa cookies were, they were, it, it wasn't like magical, like it wasn't bad, it just like wasn't good either. So I was a little disappointed in that one because I really wanted it to be good, but I feel like the hot Cheetos and the whipped cream maybe like made up for that. So, you know, there's always snacks that I think are gonna be really good that wind up not being good. Those ones are always quite disappointing, but then there's the snacks that I think are gonna be disgusting that somehow wind up being really good. And I feel like those ones really make up for it, you know? So this next one comes to us from Brie, my girl Brie. When I was with her in Wisconsin this last week for their self-care nursing event, Brie randomly was like, I have a snack for you to try. And it's something she like remembered that she used to try or that she used to eat regularly in her childhood. And I think it's really weird, <laughs> but I don't know, maybe it'll be good. So she, t she takes a Ritz cracker. She says she doesn't eat it anymore, sorry. She used to take a, a Ritz cracker and she put peanut butter and then a slice of American cheese on top of it. And I think that sounds really weird. Um, I love American cheese though. So like, I don't know, I'm willing to give it a go. So we got a little craft single here, some Ritz crackers and some peanut butter. And um, let's see if this is good. I I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit on the fence because I feel like the cheese and the peanut butter is gonna be very strange, but I love to be surprised. So let's give it a go. I come to you post weird cracker, peanut butter, cheese snack from Brie. It was gross. <laughs> I did not like it. I wanted to like it. But listen, when once the like peanut butter comes together with the cheese, oh, it's fucking weird. I should have asked Brie like how she got here. I don't think she remembered. I think she was like, I just did it one day because I was like, how did how did how did the cheese and the peanut butter come together in the first place? That's what I want to know. I always want to know how people put their weird snacks together because I'm just like, what happened in your brain that didn't happen in mine to make you choose to eat this? Like it's very strange to me. I don't experiment with my food very often. I'm telling you, that is what I learn the most like every week when I make these videos is that like, I just don't experiment with my food. I eat a lot of the same basic shit that I always eat because I know it's good and I don't step outside of the box. And honestly, I think that's like what inspired me to start Mad Snack Monday was just like the fun idea of being able to try other people's weird snacks since it's like not something that I'm naturally creative with. And so, ow, ooh, that hurt my shoulder. Um, and so I feel like I just, I love, I love trying other people's snacks. What are you doing over here, ma'am? What are you doing? She's just chilling on the table. I don't know. She, I think is really excited to have me home from Wisconsin. I'm happy to be home from Wisconsin too. I'm tired. I feel like I've had a really uh, low energy kind of day. And today was the day I had to like film all the snacks. And so I was like, oh God, of course it's on a day when I'm still just like, totally wiped i'm trying so hard to bounce back but it's been really difficult so we are on to our last snack which is to finally try the grapes hopefully <laughs> hang on i'll put these away and then i can actually like talk to you 
those grapes that we should have frozen at this point, I think. I'm 99.9% sure they should be frozen now. It's been a while. Oh yeah, they're frozen. They're ready to go. Let's uh, let's head in here and try these. Oh, I'm gonna get the chamoy. I think I already said that in, earlier in this video, but I had this idea that I could put chamoy on it because in my head, oh jeez, I don't know why I open things with my right arm. It's always a bad idea. Um, I had this idea that I feel like they need chamoy. Do they not? Right? So I got this like love chamoy. This is my favorite one. And I'm gonna get into it. I just, they needed the chamoy. They definitely did. All right. Let's give these bad boys a go. All right, here's what you need to know about the frozen grapes. Fucking fire, okay? I knew they were gonna be, but they were so good. I saved some, cause I wanted to have some tonight when I'm just like hanging out. And so I saved a whole bunch and they were so good. I will be making those all summer long. I will also be putting chamoy on them all summer long because this on them was so good. I could even see my like little T-Rex arms. <laughs> um, I can even see putting like chili lime on them too would be really good. Uh, just absolutely delicious, 10 out of 10. I always give you guys like a rating of the, the snacks, like one through five. So the number one for me for sure is the frozen grapes. Number two is the hot Cheetos and whipped cream, definitely. Number three, I'm gonna give to the rice cakes and cottage cheese peanut butter dip situation. Number four, gosh, this is a difficult tie. I'm gonna go with with the Samoas and Gouda because the, the, at the bottom of the pile, I'm so sorry, Brie, uh, has to be the Ritz cracker with the peanut butter and the Kraft single. It was not good. It was it was actually really gross. Um, so that that's the rundown of the snacks. Another Monday in the books. Another Monday all recorded, ready to roll. Ow, did you hear that? That was my shoulder. It just cracked like that. Um, and so thank you for coming along with me in between the snacks. I know you guys really liked when I recorded this last time, so I wanted to bring another one to you. So please let me know if you do love these, and I will keep them coming because I love when you guys keep me company while I while I make these videos. And I look forward to seeing your guys' reactions on Monday. It's going to be really fun. That's like my favorite part is like reading all of your guys' comments and it's it's fun. Um, so like I said, make sure you let me know if you like this video so I know to keep them coming. And make sure you subscribe so you never have to miss my face. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye. want it better than the weekend, weekend. Take it back to when we said just friends. I don't want to tell you something no. I never said I fought for you. I want it better than the weekend. You can show me just what I'm missing. Pretend.